kayang-kaya natin gumawa ng restaurant style foods or tinatawag nating gourmet dishes sa ating mga bahay. Basta alam natin ang basics. Di ba nga, lagi kong sinasabi, when you know, you can. So ngayong araw, gumawa tayo ng isang napakasimpleng Indian or Middle Eastern dish. This is chicken curry. Na syempre, kailangan may ka-partner. This is flatbread. So for the flatbread, kailangan mo ng 2 cups of all-purpose flour. 2 cups. Buhusan mo ng 3 4 cup of water. Room temperature water. 2 tablespoons of olive oil. 1 teaspoon of instant dry yeast. Pwede ka din gumamit ng active dry yeast. 1 teaspoon of sugar. Sugar is the food of the yeast. So kahit ito ay pang ulam, nilalagyan pa din natin ng asukal kahit na savory. And 1 teaspoon of salt. I'm using sea salt. 1 teaspoon. So pag nalagay mo na lahat ng ingredients, you don't need a mixer. You just mix it manually hanggang magsama-sama lang lahat ng ingredients. Ganun lang kasimple, hindi ka papagurin nito. O di ba? Alam ko ganyan ang favorite ninyong mga recipes na ginagawa natin, no? Delicious pero hindi ka papagurin. Relax ka pa rin. So, you just bind it together and when you're uh, mixing bread, this is very useful. This is a round scraper para nasa scrape mo yung gilid ng mixing bowl. No? So, you you see Pag nagsama-sama na sila, may konti pang humihiwalay sa gilid, yung, yung dough talaga ay medyo uh, malagkit. So, huwag ka matetemp na maglalagay ka ng additional flour. Because if you do that, titigas yung iyong tinapay. Tayong mga Pinoy, mahilig tayo sa tinapay na malambot. That's why this bread I formulated to be easy and very soft. Okay, that's it. So, once na-achieve mo na yan, ganyan lang kasimple, di ba? Hindi mo kailangan masahin. You don't need a mixer. You divide it into smaller pieces. Ganyan kalaki. Ganun kalaki po yan? Kasi laki ng golf ball. Approximately. As if nag-golf ako, no? Hindi po. Wala po akong ibang naisip. Or pwede, pwede mong sabihin kasi laki ng maliit na lemon. Okay. So, you just divide it into uh, pieces. Ayan, mga 9 pieces ang nagawa natin. And then, you just rest it here for 10 minutes. Meron ako ditong ginawa ko na kanina. And nag na to for 10 minutes. So, eto po yan. No? Aalsa siya ng konti, magiging ganito po yung kanyang itsura. What you will do here is, you get some flour... Ilagay mo sa table mo yung flour. Pati ibabaw, lagyan mo ng flour. And then, you just flatten it. Eto na yung iyong flatbread. Iluluto mo yan sa mainit na kawali. O, ba? O, e, paano po yan kung gusto ko cheese? Kasi sa Indian restaurant... May no order po kaming flatbread na may cheese. Eh di, gawin natin cheesy, di ba? So, yan. I-flat mo lang. Napakadali, di ba? And sasabihin ko na sa inyo yung secret, no? Para lubos-lubosin na natin. Pwede nyo pong gamitin ito for pizza. Oh, yun na yun. Yun na yung secret na sinabi ko. You put some cheese. This is just grated mozzarella cheese. No? You fold it. And then, roll, isa pang light na roll Para lang uh, mag-lock siya Pero wag mong diinan masyado Kasi pag lumabas po yung cheese Masusunog po yung cheese no? One more, if you want to make cheese E eh, paano po yan? Pwede po bang gumawa ko ng garlic cheese? Dilagyan mo ng garlic Diba nga, these are just the basics And then, it's really up to you Kung anong variation pa ang gusto mong lagay, no? Nasa sa'yo yan. Many of you, you are very, very creative. I can see your work. And I'm very proud. Fold it. 
Basta naninikit na po, lagyan mo ng konting flour. And then, konting seal. Hindi po talaga yan perfect. Kasi ito ay, kumbaga, parang home style. Or, ang flatbread kasi in India is also a street food. So, don't attempt na talagang iperfect mong bilog. No? Okay na po yan. Actually, mas maganda po yan and mas masarap kainin. No? So, ang next natin gagawin is iluluto natin to. So, di ba ganyan lang kasimple? Alam ko, marami magtatanong, pwede po ba namin i-ref yan? Pwede po ba namin i-freezer? Kapag po ganitong kadali ang isang recipe, huwag nyo nang sayangin ang space sa ref or sa freezer because you can easily prepare it from scratch anytime. So, next, iluto natin ito. You need a very hot pan. So, I'm using a non-stick pan para mas madali. And then, ilagay mo lang. Wala kang lalagay na mantika, no? You just put your flat bread. Ito yung, itong isa yung merong cheese, no? And then, ano yung hihintayin mong signal kung pwede mo nang ibaliktad? Aabangan natin yung parang pancake. Makikita mo, nabubula na siya ng konti. Ibig sabihin, yung steam is natatrap na doon sa one side of the flatbread. So, it's time for you to flip it. No? The flame has to be very hot. Mainit na mainit. Bakit? Because you want to trap the moisture inside. So, when you eat the bread, malutong yung labas, golden brown, very nice, crisp. But the inside will remain moist. Diba? So, ayan, mapapansin mo, pagka kinlose up natin dito, medyo bumubula-bula na yan. Talaga pong hinahawak-hawakan ko siya para meron tayong sense of authenticity. Kasi, uh, I haven't been to India, but in Singapore, nakikita ko na in Indian restaurants, talagang hinahawak-hawak nila kamay ang ginagamit nila sa pag flip Okay, and ito, si medyo mas matagal talaga tong may cheese, pero... Yung walang cheese, nakikita mo, oh, bumubula. And then I'm using this, uh, uh, kulang pa, konti pa. So, maliit pa yung bulang yan. I'm using this nice wooden uh, thong. Kasi ang wood, hindi siya nagkoconduct ng init. Okay? It's very delicious and we pair the curry with flatbread because traditionally, talagang yan yung ginagamit mo. Kung baga, di ba, they enjoy eating uh, na nakakamay. So, ito yung pinakapangsalok mo or pangkuha mo doon sa sauce ng iyong curry. Yan. So, nakikita mo, nag-brown na ng konti pero kulang pa yan. Konti pa. And then yung may cheese, kailangan medyo bantayan mo lang kasi baka masunog yung cheese. Yung mga black na yan, ma-achieve mo yan by putting excess flour. And magandang magkaroon ng ganyan para talagang mukhang authentic yung iyong flatbread. No? So you, you want to cook it until it's brown. Hintayin natin mag-brown to. And then itutuloy kong lutuin lahat yung natirat sa ating recipe. Marami nagtatanong sa inyo, ano pong brand ng kawali ang ginagamit nyo? For my pants, the non-steak, I trust all clad and calfalon kasi makapal po talaga and syempre, ang importante ay hindi basta-basta magagasgas yung non-steak coating. Okay? So, I will keep on cooking this. Ito, oh, ganito yung gusto mong ma-achieve. And medyo mas brown pa. I will continue cooking this hanggang mag-golden brown yung ating flatbread. Pag ready ka na magluto ng next batch, punasan mo lang ng tissue or ng basahan yung mga excess flour para hindi sila nasusunog. Okay? So, itutuloy natin yan. So now, gawin natin yung chicken curry. This is very, very easy. So, you need to preheat your pot. So, I'm using a casserola. And then, you will be needing 2 tablespoons of butter. Ilagay mo yung 2 tablespoons of butter mo. I'm using salted butter. Kung meron kang makikitang clarified butter or ghee, 
pwede nyo gamitin yun. 2 tablespoons of cooking oil. I'm using olive oil. 2 tablespoons of minced garlic. This is one onion chopped. Ang daming spices, no? Talagang ang mga curry dishes, heavy with spices. Kasi doon talaga nang gagaling yung flavor. You need 2 tablespoons of curry powder. This is curry powder. Any brand na curry powder. 4 pieces of dahon ng laurel or bay leaf. Turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon. 2 pieces of cinnamon sticks. Kung wala kang makitang cinnamon sticks, lagyan mo lang ng pinch of cinnamon. Ngayon, ganong kasimple ito, ipakita natin yung nasa loob ng ating uh, kasirola. So, you want to toast your spices. no? Kasi, ang pagluluto ng curry, kapag maganda ang simula, malayo ang mararating. O, di ba, may hugot talaga sa pagluluto. No? So, pag niluto mo lahat yung mga spices mo, you're actually bringing out all the flavors at this early stage. So, yung dish mo talaga, lasang-lasa lahat yung iyong spices. Malayo talaga ang mararating. So, paan kailan po ako titigil dito? Pag medyo nangamoy na, na yung kusina mo, nasa sala o nasa kwarto yung mga kasama mo, naamoy na nila, okay na yan. So, katulad nito, nakita mo, talagang amoy na amoy na and nagkakaramelize na yung mixture. When that happens, you put your chicken. So, I have here... 1 kilo of chicken breast filet that I ordered from Fresh Options and I cut into cubes. So, ilalagay ko lang lahat yan dyan. 1 kilo. Some potatoes. Nahulog lang yung aking chicken. Don't touch the raw chicken. 1 can of mushrooms. I'm using whole mushrooms. This is patis. I'm putting 2 tablespoons of fish sauce or patis. This is 2 teaspoons of sugar, white sugar. Sugar is a flavor enhancer. So make sure not to skip the sugar. 1 can of coconut milk. Kung ayaw mo gumamit ng coconut milk, you can actually use heavy cream. Okay. So, ganyan po kadali. Nagisa ka lang, and then binuhos mo lahat ng ingredients. And then, what you're going to do here is, you will bring it to a full boil. I full boil mo lang. Hinahalo ko lang just to distribute all of the ingredients thoroughly. Oh my gosh. Amoy na amoy na talaga yung mga spices. And... Kung natatakot po kayo, maanghang po ba yan? Hindi po yan maanghang. Pero kung gusto mong paanghangin, you can put cayenne pepper. This is cayenne pepper, mga half a teaspoon. This is totally optional. And then, meron tayong suka. Naglalagay lang tayo ng konting suka. Bakit? Dahil, of course, tinuro ng nanay ko sa akin, lahat ng niluluto mo, lagyan mo ng suka para iwas panis. But make sure, when you put the vinegar, hindi ka na maghahalo. So ngayon, kumukulo na yung mixture. Kumukulo na siya. Ilalagay ko na yung suka and hindi ko na siya hahaluin. Kasi maglalasang hilaw daw yung suka. And then I'm going to cover it no, with uh, the takip, a jar. Ganito lang, oh. may takip na ganyan para nakakasingaw ng konti. Around 5 to 7 minutes, luto na yung manok and yung patatas. Ganun lang kabilis. So, babalikan ko kayo after 5 to 7 minutes. So, after around 7 minutes, eto na siya. Luto na yung patatas and the chicken. The potatoes has to be pork tender. Patayin mo na yung apoy and then the last step is you want to mount it with 2 tablespoons of butter. Ang sosyal, di ba? Ano ibig sabihin niya, mount na yan. So basically, naglalagay ka lang ng butter. no? So it will get the nice butter flavor. But off heat. 
Kasi pagka ang butter is napapakuloan, nag-iiba yung lasa niya, nawawala yung fresh flavor. So, off fire or off heat, ilagay mo yung 2 tablespoons or of butter or 3 or 4. Depende kung gaano kang kasaya. And then, kumuha na tayo for serving. Look, how nice. Etong lutong to, tinikman ko, maanghang siya kasi naglagay ako ng cayenne pepper. But again, kung ayaw mo ng spicy, huwag mong lagyan. Etong cinnamon, tinatapo na to because normally hindi tayo nag-garnish ng hindi naman nakakain. Pero kung gusto mong picturean, pwede din. Okay? And then, ang pinaka-garnish din yan is meron kang konting cream. Ayan mong konting cream. Herbs of your choice. Yan lang kasi ang herbs namin. And makikita mo dito, binabalot mo ng towel yung mga flatbread. So, they will remain warm. No? I have here, maglagay ka ng isang plain. And then, I have here yung cheese. Gusto kong mainit. Pero gusto ko ipakita sa inyo kung ano yung, uh, kung gaano siya ka-cheesy. Look, oh. ba? Diba? Talagang nagse-separate yung Gagamitan ko ng kutsara ha. Ang init kasi. Kitang kita mo yung cheese. di ba? And then to eat it. Well of course. Perfect ya with rice. Pero pwede pwede ka naman magsaing. di ba? But I showed you the flat bread. Para meron ka din ibang variation. Pwede mong gamitan ng kutsara. Or you can go traditional. Sasawsaw mong ganun. di ba? Hmm. It's so good. Perfect na perfect. Para ka talagang nag-Indian restaurant, pero nasa bahay ka lang and ikaw ang gumawa lahat from scratch. So, magluto ka na. Alam ko magtatanong, paano kung ayaw namin ng chicken? You can use seafood. Pwede kang gumamit ng shrimp. Pwede ka din gumamit ng beef, pero medyo mas matagal ka magpapalambot. Una mong ilagay yung beef, ihuli mo yung patatas, mushrooms, at yung ipagang sahod. So enjoy, have a great week, and stay safe always.